Hi everyone! Today we're going to be learning about Asclepias styrica L, otherwise known as the butterfly flower, silkweed, and common milkweed. Common milkweed is a herbaceous perennial that grows to be about 5 feet tall. The sap, leaves, and flowers provide a food source for over 450 species of insects, such as the famous monarch butterfly. Many of the insects, including monarch butterflies that eat common milkweed, have aplasmatic coloration, which is red, orange, or black coloration that tells predators that this insect is dangerous to eat. But why is that? Well, milkweed contains cardiac glycosate compounds, which makes the plant toxic to many insects and animals. However, for insects that can actually eat common milkweed, they are able to store those toxic compounds in their tissues, making them toxic to predators. Common milkweed is native to mostly eastern and central North America. It's commonly used in gardens, however it can be extremely weedy and will inhabit disturbed sites such as roadsides, pastures, and fields. If you're looking to add common milkweed to your landscape, it grows pretty well in hardiness zones 3 through 7, but it will need to be monitored due to how much it spreads. If we take a look at the stem of milkweed, we'll see that it has an opposite leaf arrangement. Additionally, when the stem of any milkweed is broken, it will secrete a white milky sap that contains those nasty cardiac glycosate compounds that we mentioned earlier. As far as the leaves go, they are simple and entire. Also, the lower leaf is pubescent. Common milkweed blooms June to August, and when it does, it produces two to five large flower clusters per plant that are generally pink, but they can also be white, purple, or even green. Each cluster is an inflorescence that contains 20 to 130 flowers. The flowers themselves are very, very complex, and I'm not gonna be able to go into detail about all of those flower parts in this video. However, I am going to mention some of the major flower parts. Each flower has five reflex petals, which means that they curve upward, and hidden under those petals are actually the flower's sepals. The flowers have five large hoods, which contain their nectar, and five spike-like horns. This species has perfect flowers, meaning that they have both male and female reproductive organs. However, these reproductive organs are fused. If we look at a common milkweed's flower and spot a small black dot along the edge, that is the corpusculum, which actually has two pollinia or pollen sacs attached to it. Now the female reproductive organ takes the form of the stigmatic slit, which is right below the corpusculum. The purpose for this sort of organ arrangement is so that a pollinating insect will potentially snag its leg on the corpusculum, pull out the pollinia, carry them to another flower, and as it is moving around on that flower, it will stick the pollinia into the stigmatic slit. After its complicated pollination process, Common milkweed forms warty green pods that mature around September to October. When they mature, the pods turn gray, dry out, split open, and release 50 to 100 brown oval wind dispersed seeds. Each of the wind dispersed seeds has a tuft of silk that aids in dispersal. Those tufts, officially called pappus, have been used to stuff life jackets during World War II and are currently used for stuffing pillows. Even though common milkweed is effective at spreading by seed, most of its reproduction actually happens through spreading by rhizomes. Alrighty, that is all for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed learning about Asclepias syrica L, otherwise known as common milkweed with me. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.